Thank you for joining us on our beginner stitch tutorial series. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the lemon peel stitch. We're using Mary Max Mellow Spun and a size I9 hook. To begin, we're going to chain an even number of stitches, plus one. So you'll often see that written in parentheses. Um, so we're chaining two stitches plus one, and that one is our turning chain. For this project, we chained 25. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Now we're going to double crochet in the next chain. Yarn over and insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. Again, yarn over and pull through both remaining loops on your hook. Next, you're going to single crochet in the next chain. and then double crochet. Continue working in this manner, repeating the single crochet, double crochet sequence. At the end of your first row, it should look like this. And after a few rows, it will look like this. Each row is worked the same, starting with a single crochet. Then a double crochet. Here are some of our top tips for working the lemon peel stitch. When crocheting the lemon peel stitch, you're working the opposite stitch from the row below. For instance, if the last stitch of row 2 is a double crochet, then the first stitch of row 3 will be a single crochet. Most mistakes happen when you accidentally crochet the same stitch twice. If you find yourself working a single crochet into a single crochet, then you need to rip out some work and go find the double. Hopefully it's in the same row, sometimes it's not.
The lemon peel stitch can be worked into an odd number of stitches, but if you do, then each row won't be exactly the same. Most designers like to use an even number of stitches so rows can be easily repeated. Of course, there are always exceptions. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media profiles, use the hashtag ShareWithMary, and happy crafting!